Businesses have just over a week left to apply for another round of Paycheck Protection Program loans. The PPP loans help businesses keep their employees paid during the pandemic. And the smallest businesses are now being prioritized this time around. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports that many are unaware. This sprawling space in Hempstead would have been filled with children learning about science, technology, and math. Instead, it's been empty for a year. When COVID-19 hit, everything stopped. And, you know, I'm the only one who comes in the building most of the times. And just to see it empty, it breaks my heart to see that. This not-for-profit Morrison Mentors got one federal PPP loan. Now they're applying for the second round. We still had to pay our mentors. We still had to pay, you know, down payment on the location. This time, small businesses like this with fewer than 20 employees will go to the front of the PPP line. The Biden administration created a 14-day exclusive period. The deadline is March 9th before bigger businesses can all also apply for loans through the end of the month. Loans which may be eligible for forgiveness. A possible lifeline to this Hicksville restaurant, its catering income wiped out, just made aware of the upcoming deadline. So it's like saying there's a line, but where is the line? There's really nobody coming out and telling us, hey, listen, apply for this. Hey, listen, this is how you do it. It's why Long Island small business leaders gathered to spread the word, asking everyone to let a small business owner know there's $100 billion in aid up for grabs. There is a limited amount of federal funding available, so please apply to the SBA as soon as possible to take advantage of this priority status immediately. We want to make sure everyone applies and not leave money on the table. Our key saying today is apply, apply, apply. Do not assume that you do not qualify. Folks who have been through the application process say it's improved over the last time. It's not as complicated, but if you do need help, contact an accountant, a bank, or a chamber of commerce. In Hicksville, Long Island, Carolyn Gossoff, CBS 2 News.